Okay, hello everyone. Um, this is me, out of my comfort zone. Um, one, because I'm actually being serious for once, and two, um, I'm not a guitar teacher and I'm going to attempt to give a guitar lesson. Um, the reason I'm going to be doing this is because Hallucination Thoughts has nominated me to do it. Um, I'm just going to read from the Hallucination Thoughts um, site. So he's kickstarting the Stay at Home and Play series where someone, a singer, guitarist, drummer, whatever they might be, takes a song, um, gives an insight into it and teaches how to play it. They will then nominate someone else to do the same. Um, he's nominated me. Um, and if you go to his YouTube channel, you can just uh, go to YouTube, put in Hallucination Thoughts and it will come up. You'll see how um, he plays his song, how to, um, how to Play Pain Is A Sweet Release, it's called. Pain Is A Sweet Release. So I believe that's a song he wrote in uh, 2019 and he's um, teaching you how to do that. So the song that I've chosen, I was going to joke there and say it's Wonderwall which it could easily be, um, but I would fall asleep. So instead of that, um, what I've chosen is a song by a band. Um, I learned the riff about three weeks ago and then videoed myself playing in, a in my dressing gown about six o'clock in the morning. Um, it's a band called Dry Cleaning. And um, the reason I heard about Dry Cleaning was because they were due to play um, the Ipswich Sound City in October. I don't know if that's still going ahead, but I checked them out because of that. Checked them out a couple of months ago and fell in love with this song called uh, Magic of Megan. Um, so that's Dry Cleaning, Magic of Megan, and a non-guitar teacher is going to try and teach you how to play it using like some sort of different language that you're probably not meant to use or something, I don't know. Um, so the riff goes. Um... So that's the riff um, that goes through the whole of the verse. And um, I woke up with that in my head about five o'clock on Saturday morning and thought I've got to learn it. And half an hour later, there I was. Um, so this is how you play it. Um, a guitar teacher might teach it differently. I'm just gonna say the things that I know about the guitar. So this is the B string. So on the B string, you start on the third fret up. So, there. And move to the fifth fret, which is there on the B string. So we've got I don't know if you can see that or whether my hand's getting in the way. So we've got. And then the open string, open B. So everything's on the same B string. So on the B string, third, fifth, 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 third, open. So that's the first bit. Now this is, gets a bit more complicated because you've got to go third, open, then you come down to the G string and play second fret and open. So put those together, you've got, and I'll just play it with one finger, I don't know if that makes a blind bit of difference, just so you can see better I suppose. And then and then down to the G string. So we've got or a little bit faster with more fingers. Now that's half of it. The other half goes right up to the top E string here and uh, you play on the second fret, so you've got, uh, just let me work it out. Then on the second fret here, up to the third. So 
you got second, 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 third, second, open. And uh, then to the B string again, third, third, and open. So E string. God, this is hard to explain, but it's easy if you're a guitar teacher, but I am not. So we got all that's on the top string, then B string. And then you do a little slide from the on the B string from the third to the fifth. So a little slide. Right, if you've been following that and pausing the video and well, if you're a, if you're a be beginner, you've probably been pausing the video, otherwise you've been going, get on with it, Matt. Um, but if you pull that together, what you get is that. I'll start off slow. So. Right, so that is my guitar lesson. Thank you, Hallucination Thoughts, for um, nominating me in the first place. This is the Stay at Home and Play series. I chose that riff because I thought it'd be easy, um, but it's a lot harder for someone who doesn't actually teach the piano. Uh, I do teach the piano. Someone that doesn't teach the guitar um, very often. I hope that was okay, and I hope that anyone sitting there watching um, now knows how to play. Magic of Megan by Dry Cleaning. So I'm going to go away and decide who I'm going to nominate now and hopefully they'll carry on the stay at home and play series. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck with playing.